everything you said. Just pay 200 million into the account number I've just given you. And the, re the rest in, uh, in my usual account. That is all. I'll see you when I get back. Bye. Now, oh. Elijah, you sounded so desperate. What can I do for you? Uh, you are uh, double money. I have come to tell you that I have this present issue. Go on, go on, go on. Cousin, yesterday, my friend and I, we have been friends for long. Well, let you get to the point. I, 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 I want you, I want... Uh, I have a lot of pressing issues. I want to launch myself back to my business. Therefore, I want you to lend me some money. Look, this is the last time I want to hear you beg me for anything. I don't have any money to lend you. Allah do anawi. Kene only a woke in the Nadeshi. You are the only friend that I have. <sighs> Look, I don't have any money to lend you. And that's, and that's it. Go. And Go. Huh. The whole money. Please now. I don't have any money to lend you, but I can teach you how to make money. Sammala, sammala, ha ha, sammala, ha ya. Do you want to make money? Sammala. Yes, of course. I, I, I want to make money. That's so good. That's so good. At all costs. At all costs. Come here, I've been using you. Say, I'm on Kodi. At all costs, not on Kodi. To Allah. So that Allah, not on Kodi. So say that. Take this. Sammala, Sammala, Ha Ha, Sammala, Hayya. Sammala, Sammala,
Uh, listen to me, brother. The children will go in his life, try to complain so many things. I'm very sure you know that as a first son, you know what my obligations are. Maybe if you're more explicit, I will say something. Okay? You see, this big compound here and beyond, it was specifically acquired because of the Dickie Ogu. Brother Dickie, shut up! Why are you shutting him up? Why? You don't know? Are you not aware? How many times have I warned you never to come in Brother Dickie? you know that when the gods want to kill someone, the force of forming such a person mad, do you also know that beauty is in the eyes of the human But a man who plucked a cost fruit because of the girl, such a man is also cost. Stephen's mother was legitimately married to my father. And Stephen born in this house. The same blood that flows in you, that flows in me, flows in him. The fact that the father is late today does not mean Bible, anything little, 
You told me you saw me in your heart. Because if he's actually your companion, you can never use a word as or so as an outcast. Referring to your own blood, your own brother as an outcast. Don't tell me about this. At every slightest thing you quote the Bible. Look, do you know that in, in the Bible, the holy book, there were the Gentiles. And when God commanded for the circumcision of male children, it was merely calling for the for, for the freeborn. TK. TK. Do not judge. So you will not be judged. Okay. So says the same Bible you are calling or quoting every time. Okay. Anyhow, please. I beg of you. Elders of Umobi will be visiting. Please, if you want me to kneel down, I will kneel down. Do not speak anything despicable, Stephen. Please, I beg you. Good night, brother. Luda, what did you know? Imagine What did you know? I have eight boys, eight sons. Now, where am I supposed to get a piece of land for each of these boys? Where? And we are here talking about Stephen, Stephen, Stephen. Yeah. Come on, baby. Not just invite me in the Nagichinya to come here and share drinks. Ah, um, in the Chinya I thank you for, for coming. I didn't just invite you here to share drinks. I know it's a crucial moment, and I appreciate the fact that you spare time to come here. Mm. I invited you here to come and witness the sharing of my father's property. Hmm? Yes. Uh, today is the second to the last day of the second seven market days after we buried my father. And I need not employ any kind of trumpeter to blow and let us know uh, his greatness. Hmm? Uh, but I know something that we do not count big numbers without the presence of one's kinsmen. Hmm? Um, we know that my father left behind two male children. Did I hear you say two male children? Yes. What about your junior youngest brother, Stephen? <laughs> no. Who's Stephen? Who's Stephen? Look at him here. You are saying you don't know him. In the, in the chain. My father left two of us. I declared the first son and my brother Dennis here. So what has an outcast got to do with freeborn? I will not be a party to you calling Stephen an outcast. I won't. Eh? Because father married his mother just like he married yours and married mine. And he even paid bride price. So I don't see any reason why you should be calling him an outcast. Uh, is a church in your room? Yes. Eh? Am I correct? You are saying the truth, and I was there. Good. So, please remind him because he seemed seem to have forgotten. What is there to remind me? Hmm? How can I forget that the father, that our father, wandered out of Mobi and went to Omosu to marry? But, 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 but Steve, Dennis, Steve, 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 sit down, relax. The war is not yet yours. I'm still alive. If DK wants to make an issue out of this. We will get to the bottom of it. Relax. Brother Dennis, this is not time for us to put sense in his head. I said relax. Who's the shield? Who's the shield? Are you hearing him talking to me like this? Dickie, you deserve whatever thing he tells you. You are telling me the son of an outcast can talk to me, yes. the first son of, of his uh, Odumegu, the, 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 the heir to the vast land and property of this place. In the first instance, you're not even the first son. If I am not the first son, who is the first son? Who is this you? Chukudum. Who died mysteriously? What are you saying? 
What are you insinuating, Dennis? What are you insinuating? You can use your tongue to count your teeth. Mm. Well, as you go. I thank you for coming. I did not call you here to listen to noise or for us to break noise into your ears. I called you here to witness the sharing of my father's property. Now that I've seen that uh, nobody seems want to listen to sense here, yeah, I'm going to go home. Thank you. Take cool. Uh, if he wants you to go, please go. When he, the supposed first son of this family, is ready to share our father's property, the three of us, him, me and Stephen, will sit down together without any outsider and share the properties. So please go. Did you say three of us? The three of us, yes. Ah, Dennis, have you forgotten or did you not even know that I have eight sons? Eight sons! What has that got to do with what we're discussing? What? You don't know? You cannot know because you don't have any. Hmm. But I will tell you. I, DK, as a first son, I will pick and I will choose. Then each one of my eight sons will pick and choose. Every single one of them. Then, before anyone can, can pick, I will be reminisce for this outcast. DK, it is not your, your place to share your father's property. It is our duty as women to do that. But since you say I should go, I am going. Thank you very much, Mr. Chiyo. Thank you very much, sir. Go well. Uh, hello, Sida. You're back. I was wondering if you still come back. Well, I'm here now. I hope there's something for me to eat. Oh, sure. Let's bring it out. Auntie. Auntie. Yes. Oh, Auntie, how are you? You're welcome. Thank you. Yes, he, he came with me. Yes, uh, Stephen, please sit down and make yourself comfortable, okay? Okay, Uncle. I'll be with you soon, eh? Do you have regard for me at all? What kind of stupid question is that? Everything. What are you actually driving at? How could you bring in your brother without letting me in? Honey, come on. An impromptu problem demands an impromptu action. I don't understand. Honey, DK is in his worst situation right now as so we speak. Leaving Stephen behind there is going to be insanity on my part. Whatever. How could you bring in your brother without letting your wife whom you claim you love know about it? Honey, please, let's not go there. Let's not just go there. <clears throat> How long is this thing? Honey, I said I don't want to discuss it. Can we just drop... How long is this thing, Danny? Hey, you don't shout at me! Fine, if you must know, he's here to stay. I see. See that? I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like us quarreling over issues concerning my brother. No, it shouldn't be. Please. 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 
want to tell you something. What? Maybe you want to know. I come from a polygamous home. My father is what we married four wives. And each of these women had a male child. Now, out of the four of us, two died mysteriously, leaving just Dickie and I. All of a sudden, Dickie became what nobody could understand. Dickie became evil. I talk about evil personified. Dickie became self-centered. He, all he knew was just himself. Only that I, Dennis Odimewu, is alive today is God. Steve is my half brother. He's all I've got now. And he, I was married. I had three children, three boys. They all died mysteriously. You and I have not been able to have children of our own. Steve is all I have right now. And I can't afford to leave him behind with decay. No. Honey, I will not forgive myself should anything happen to Stephen. No. I don't trust Dickie. That's why I had to get him here to stay with us. This is the only place I can give him security. Please. I know very well that I ought to have discussed this with you as my wife. But you see, in the home, there are certain decisions a man takes unilaterally for the good of the family. I didn't do what I did to hurt you, no, or to disregard you or disrespect you, no. Please, I'm sorry. But Steve is a good boy. I want you to take him as your son. Please. Treat him like one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the way I talk to you. Please. No, it's okay. It's alright. I should say I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Please. It's okay. Steve is a good boy. Hmm? Okay. Take him as your own son. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you too. Steven, yes, okay, please come and sit down. How are you? I'm fine. Very fine. <laughs> I hope you're getting acclimatized with uh, the office, huh? Yes, yes, Brother Dennis. Good, good. Uh, Brother Dennis, I hope you've not forgotten that I'm in my second year in the university. Of course I know. Why are you asking? <laughs> Nothing. I... Brother Dennis, I... I hope Papa's sudden death shouldn't mean the end of my dream of becoming a chemical engineer. Yes. You know, but uh, there's something I want you to understand. That the end of one's dream could mean the beginning of one's destiny. Okay? Brother Dennis, I, I don't understand. How do you mean? Now, I want you to go to the showroom, the electronics parts. Yes. Okay, take a look around. Go around there, okay? <laughs> Brother Dennis, I've, I've already done that. Do it again. Okay, sir. All right. Okay? Okay, Excuse me, I'll be right. back to shortly. He has a long way to go. He doesn't know where I'm coming from. Steve, how are you? I'm fine.
fine, sir. Fine. How was your day? Fine. I'm sure you see the head office. Yes, yes, sir. I saw it. So what's your impression? Oh, very impressive. Very impressive. Oh, thank you. I also have three other branches in different parts of the town. You do? No, they are not as big as that. Yeah. Wow. Brother Dennis, I am so impressed and pleased to have a brother like you. It's all right. Well, thank God. Come, come and sit down. So thank God, in every situation we have to be grateful to God. Yeah. You know, we strive to be where we are today. And God blessed the works of our hands. You know. Well, that's by the way. Steve. Yes. You know our brother, DK, has really, really changed since Papa died. Yes, yes, I, I noticed. And you must have also noticed that um, he doesn't want you around. Exactly, exactly. I, I don't know why. You see, Steve, you have come of age to get to know certain things that happens in the family. And I'm going to let you into it. Chukudum, our late old brother, who used to fight with DK all the time, died mysteriously. Again, my three children from my first marriage also died mysteriously. Even though we know that these deaths are not far from what DK can do. But it is well. We'll leave it to God. You are a half brother, but the same blood flows in our stream. I will not forgive myself. Should anything happen to you, leaving you behind there. Hence, I decided to bring you in here to protect you from him. You know. Brother Dennis, are you trying to say that? Oh, no, no, Steve, Steve. Let us say that's part of discussion for another day. All right? You must be very tired, okay? Go upstairs, go get some rest. Okay, sir. something I want us to talk about. Oh really? Yeah. I'm more ears. I want Stephen to join me in my business. I mean, I want him to learn the the electronics trade. But he's still in the university. I know. I know. No. I don't think you know. Honey, I know what I'm doing. I don't think you do because if you do, why do you then want him to quit school? All I'm asking for is your cooperation. What do you mean by my cooperation? I want you to take him as your son. The son you and I do not have for now. It is going to go a long way to helping me achieve what I intend to achieve. Please. I beg of you. Yes, brother. 
I am twice your age. Yes. And things I see sitting, you probably might not see standing. Things like your future. My future. Well, but but I, I don't follow. What we discussed last night. What do you think about it? Oh, that, uh, honestly, brother, I, um, <clears throat> I don't know what to say, honestly. Very well, then. Drive me to the office. Because of his money. His money. You think so? Ah. If not, what else could make him behave like that? Ah. Mm. <coughs> uh, uh, uh. Mm. Ah. Mm -mm. Mm, good, eh? Mm -mm. A jaw. A jaw. Hey! <laughs> Dickhead! Okay, already now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you think it is true? Do you think it's even possible that it is money that has made my brother this arrogant? You see, money and arrogance dwell in the same house like twins live together. Oh, they live together. Eh? You see, that's your brother. Dennis doesn't know me. Stephen. Yes, brother Dennis. You're wanting to continue your education. Might prove disastrous to all of us in the long run. How? Anything can happen to me. <laughs> brother Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> What, what will ever happen to a good man like you? Things happen to everybody, good or bad. No, brother Dennis, nothing will ever happen to you in Jesus' name. Amen. I like your confidence a lot. Or should I say, your optimism about life. But unfortunately, I do not share in it. What are you talking about, sir? Stephen, you know I'm a very straightforward man. Very blunt when I deal. You see, Stephen, we are all strangers in this world. And someday, our Creator will call us. And we must answer to the call. Stephen, I want you to know that should anything happen to me while you're in the university, DK, our brother, would take everything that belongs to me, leaving you with nothing. Brother Dennis, you're getting me very confused. Anyhow, <clears throat> Stephen. I want you to join me in my business. I want you to learn my trade. I want you to make money for yourself. Make money? Yes. Make money. With money, you will be strong enough to face any battle that will come your way. But, Brother Dennis, money does not solve every problem. Well, it doesn't. I agree with you. But to a large extent, it does. Because if you make money for yourself, you will be prepared for any battle decay might present in the future should anything happen to me.
that's where I'm going to. That's why I want you to join my business. That's why I want you to make money. Because anything can happen anytime. So when I'm gone, you will stand firm to defend yourself. Honey, what of your brother? Were you able to convince him? Not yet. Or will he ever? Well, that depends. Depends on what? Of course, my ability to convince him. Convince him on what? Oh, sweetheart, I thought I've told you to exercise patience. Haven't I? We shouldn't be discussing this issue all the time, please. I know. I know you have, but honestly, I was thinking that maybe I should talk to him myself, considering the, the fact that God bestowed powers on us women. <laughs> you know something, so sweetheart. You know sometimes, you know, when I hear you sound like this, you know, you remind me of when we actually met. Mm. How you used to sweet tell me to do things you want me to do. Mm. Anyhow, thanks, I appreciate it, okay? <laughs> You're blushing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't know you still remember. Of course I do, why not? Okay, I thought maybe your family problems have taken away the shy of me. No, come on, it's not possible. That's not possible at all. I've been neglected of recent. Neglected? Yes. How? Yes. But we still, uh, you know, most nice, don't we? Oh, okay, let me ask you. Go on. When last did you take me out? Oh, is that what you're talking about? Oh, yes. You see, you see. No, we see nothing. See, honey, in as much as you might not like doing those things that we used to do before, but I still do. And remember, you promise. I remember, okay? Don't worry, I'm falling short. Okay, I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. Promise? Promise. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I promise, okay? My sweetie. Oh, yeah. Yes, uh, that reminds me. <clears throat> I think this is um, the right place and time to let you into this. I'm actually thinking of co-opting my brother Stephen into my business. What do you think? You want him to put school for business? Yeah. Is there anything wrong with it? I mean, I've made so much money in business. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with my brother joining me so he can start making money on his own. How? How will he start making money immediately? Well, he has to um, start as an apprentice, get to learn over time within a time frame, after which, um, when he's learned, I uh, will uh, give him freedom and then settle him with um, some amount of money to start out on his own. That's the way it's usually done. Mm. Does he know about it? No, 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 no. He shouldn't know about it. Normally they are not told. If you get to tell them, they become lazy. So you allow them to learn without knowing the time period, the time frame. The apprenticeship is going to last. That's why it's done. Thank you. Thank you. This thing, this thing is always getting sticky. Sorry, sorry. I'm sure it's going to spoil the taste of my no, drink. No, 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 no. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Mm. On the contrary, it's making the drink sweeter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No you are the best. Anytime. Anything mm. for you, okay? I love you. Auntie, I quite understand. But I wish I could grab my degree first. Oh, Steven, 
That means you don't take your brother's advice as well intended. No, far from it, Auntie, far from it. I do understand that my brother has good intentions. But what about me as an individual? Auntie, it's my future we're talking about here. Saying is as bad as the land. See, even though I've come this late to your house, that same proverb is still applicable to my coming here. Mm. Yes, I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening. Uh, my friend, I have thought over and over again, and I've come to the conclusion that you are correct. You are right, my friend. I'm always correct about everything. Uh, but what is it now? It's about the good behind his current antics. Ah, it, 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 that's no news. It's a public knowledge. I wonder why you didn't know anything about it. Well, you know, uh, many things happen in a man's life. Maybe I just derailed momentarily. I am happy that you are the one saying it. Maybe the couple will start gone out of your town. Well, Diego, when will you take me to Godibia? Ah, I'm not you. I used, I used to know. Ah, ah. When, when, when would you take me? Straight away. <laughs> if it suits you, can we? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. By cock crow. Cock crow in the morning. If it's okay by you. Ah, a brother at Waffle Bruiser. That's why you have me as a friend. Uh, but, um, uh, do you have a white cock? White cock, what for? Without it to go, it cannot perform. Would you have no sure? It's just for a consultation. Medicate, uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> um, I, it was it was uh, I, it's okay, man. <laughs> Let me see you off. <laughs> I forgot that I way here to drop this off uh, at uh, the Williams. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Drop it off there. Okay. okay. Please uh, and don't be don't be long. Yeah. Okay. Sir. Yeah. Okay. Remember, don't be long, please. Yeah? Okay, sir. So he's going back to school. So he agreed? On the contrary. 
I am the one that agreed. Wow. That's the best. He's going back to school. The sweetheart. Steven. Sir, Steve is not here back, sir. You mean he's not back yet? Sir, I thought you said him and I, sir. Oh, yes, for how long now? He's been gone for a long time, oh, over five hours now. Quickly, go and check in the car, sir. To the GP, sir. It's not in the compound, sir. Uh, honey, what is it? Why is your face like this? <coughs> Steve is not back yet. How do you mean? I sent him to deliver a parcel at the Williams for over five hours now. And he hasn't returned. Anyway, you know young men these days, they will always want to enjoy themselves whenever they are out of bright eyes. It is not the Steven that I know. Steven, is he not an undergraduate? Yes, he is. I know him. I know him. No. Which evil, what devil that made me send him out without a driver? I mean, you, you don't have to blame yourself. You know, what do you want me to do? Certain things could be averted, you know? Can you imagine me sending my brother to an early grave? God forbid, nothing will happen to you. Nothing, you're not going to die. Don't Yes, please, um, how bad is it? Pretty bad. Oh, really? Pretty bad. Well, um, before we continue treatment, before any further treatment, we are going to carry out a proper test on him. Please, carry out all the necessary tests, please. All right, do whatever you can. Okay, because there's a possibility he might even be having internal bleeding. We'll do our best. We'll do our best. Uh -huh. Please, scan. Do some scanning. I will take care of it. Please. Well, I came to check how he is faring. Thank you very much, eh? Thank you, Doctor. Who 
Laredo? Uh? Laredo? Aham! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ah, ah! Diga lá, Maurício! Não, não, não. Não, não, não. This is not time for flashback. Let's sit down, sit down, sit down. Uh -oh. uh, what is it? This is not time for flashback at all. No. Ah, what is it? I actually haven't heard anything now. It has happened. Maybe it has happened. But... No. No, if it has happened, uh, I will have known and I will have even told you. I even sent that boy to go and call them. Mm. Everybody's fine. In fact, it was the wife who picked up the call. The wife? Yes. Maybe they were hiding it from her. You think I've not thought about that? Yeah. Ah, I thought about it now. I even called and I pretended to be someone else. And guess what? Denise answered the call. That is strange. What is strange? Because since the DJ never fails. It better not fail this time. Hmm? Ah. Well, it better not fail you because it is the fattest of my goods I gave him. Ah, it, be ah, it better not fail you. Ah. Hey, what, what do I do now? You have to wait too. You will be patient. It's the DJ. Will show up. Oh yeah. Who are you? Bataba, bataba. Come on! Your shoes, your shoes. Put them off. Yes. Uh, uh, the friend I came with. The other day. What about him? That thing did not work. Who says who? Uh, uh, I, I... You should be sure of yourself before you cause all the AZ Dibia. Now go! I have a meeting with the Spirit King. If he sees you here, you join your houses out. You join your houses out. Go now! If he sees you here, you join I'm your houses I'm gone. Go! And never you look back until you get to your home. Go! sound encouraging at all. Honey, what I, I find very difficult to understand is that a hospital as big as Scintillati Memorial Hospital cannot tell me what my brother's problem is. Honey, you don't have to talk like that. They are doing their best. They already said they have a critical case at hand. For how long would I continue to hear that? As long as it can carry them. And then? I will hurt emotionally. No. You want them to hurry into a mistake? It is not just possible, Rachel, that a, ho a hospital that big will make mistakes? No, it's not possible. Honey, people when pushed to the wall make mistakes. <laughs> that sounds like incompetence to me. Seriously. Now listen, let me tell you something. Rachel, that you do not know. Should anything happen to Steve, DK or Demego, my brother, will come pounding on both of us. He is going to tell the whole world that you and I used Steve for money ritual. You going to bet on it? How could he say things like that? How can he do that? Rachel, but you should know him. Why are you sounding like this? Don't you know him? You should know him. Anyway, he can go on and say whatever he likes. Oh no. Oh no, sweetheart. No. This should make you more concerned. Because what you and I should be doing right now is pray. Prayers. Let nothing happen to Stephen. Nothing will happen to him. Amen. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> Honey, something very unusual happened today. What is it that happened? You won't believe this. A boy called me. Who 
Who's a boy? A boy, your nephew, DK's son. What? Huh. What did he say? He called and said he wanted to find out if everything is alright with us. Just that? Yes. Do I knew there was more to it. And when I prodded further, he said his father asked him to call. <laughs> you said my nephew, a boy, called. Yes. To know how we're doing and when you prodded further, he turned around to say that his father asked him to call. DK called. DK, my brother, called to know how we were doing. <laughs> Wonders shall never end. Yes. Honey, people change. Yes. But what worries me is the coincidence. Coincidence? Yes. That's the word. Wait a minute. You said a boy called. Yes. And said his father asked him to call to know how we're doing. Mm. Could not explain the strange call I got earlier on today. A strange call? Yes. I got a strange... Some person called me earlier on today. And when I picked it up, the person tried to muffle his voice. I kept saying hello, 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 hello. And the person would not respond. And all of a sudden the person cut off. <sighs> okay. There is nothing. There's nothing DK is not capable of. Where are we heading to? Well, I'd like to shut down. I'd like to shut down and rest my head a little bit. I smell rats. I smell rats. Where are you? I smell rats. I need to think because DK might be up to wanting to eliminate Steve and I. No. No. What are we even saying? The only thing I know that happened is that Steve had an accident. That's all. He had an accident. Hello? Hello? You call that an accident? Or an accident? But let me tell you something. It is my family. I know my family. You were only married into the family. I can't smell rats when I say it. Good night. The results of the tests are out. Mr. Dumewu is critical. The result proves that he has internal bleeding. Don't worry, we are handling it. Oh. 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 What worries me most is that uh, we discover that he has a chronic kidney failure. What? Brought within the next seven days. Oh. 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 I will assist by giving you people our sister hospital connection abroad. I will pay, I will pay. For the meantime, we have placed him on dialysis. 
to speed up uh, the kidney transplant on him, we need a matching kidney. Get a kidney, I will pay, I will pay. You see, I believe that you as the brother can. Yeah, doctor, please, get from anywhere. I will pay any amount, I will pay. Anybody here? Hello. 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 How are you? I'm fine. Did you just come in from the table? Hey, yes, sir. Ah. How are you, sir? Ah. You're looking good, though. Uh, it's good, though. Thank you. You're not looking bad, too. So, how, how is Lagos? Lagos is fine, though. As you know, besides the hustle and bustle of uh, Lagos lifestyle. But you people are equal to the task now. <laughs> oh, we won't do that. Yes, yes. Yeah, you have seen this. So there's no trouble in Lagos? At all. <laughs> and so there, there's no um, no problem in Lagos at all? Not you? at all, no. Ah, it's my brother. Uh, you mean uh, Oga Dennis? Yes, now. Do I have two brothers in Lagos? Oga ah. uh, Oga Dennis is doing very well. In fact, he's fine. Uh, yes, we were together at the village meeting in Lagos yesterday before I left for the village today. Dennis, my brother, it's fine. Very well. Eh? Please. Are you sure that my brother Dennis is fine? You need to see him. Looking very robust. How can he be fine? How can he be fine? How can he be fine when the DBI says, uh, how can he be... Sorry? As the DBI said what, sir? Oh, said... no, no, no. Never mind me, no matter. But you say my brother is fine. <laughs> yes, sir. And that's good. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, thank you. Okay, sir, I... Please, uh, this is a token from me. Oh, uh, for me. Just yeah. uh, manage this as uh, a bridge. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you. I uh, just uh, have to start going and uh, see some other people around the village. Thank you. I'm so grateful, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. How can it be fine? Where is it? man is expecting news from that place. Tell me he's dead, I'll be happy. See, don't they put it in carton where this one come from? Come in, come in, dream, stupid dream, stupid dream, stupid Nonsense. doing fine, but Chief, you see, the German doctor commended our patients. I don't understand what you mean by that. Um, Chief, it would have been critical if we had attempted moving him. Chief, under normal circumstances now, the spinal cord situation will be handled by one of the best experts in the world. It will be started in the next uh, few weeks. Weeks? Chief, the impact on your brother's uh, cervical vertebrae was so hard. I'm surprised that he survived. He's so lucky. It's a great miracle that he's living. Doctor, I know the God I serve is a miracle working God. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Wow. 
So, when do we commence treatment? Oh, Chief, as soon as we get the one million naira, we we'll start immediately. One million naira. Exactly, Chief. Okay. So, I'll see you again. Okay? Right. So, you said that the next session is uh, coming. Tell him I'm already in the office. Mind, sweetheart, that I should donate my own kidney. Why are you talking like this? What do you mean by I should donate my kidney? Huh? Oh, so you want me to die? I am talking huh? about your blood brother. I'm talking about Stephen. Oh, but were you not there when I told the doctor to go ahead and look for a matching kidney that I'm, I'm willing to pay? Medically, Stephen is your brother, and I know that there are every tendency that your kidney will match with his. Oh, so you want me dead? This is what you've been scheming for. I thought you said you love me. Sweetheart, huh? but I do, I... Don't you touch me! Don't touch me. Oh, so you want me dead? This is what you've been scheming for. How can I? Huh? Sweetheart! But were you not there? When the doctor said what he said? And I made him a firm promise that you go ahead, that we will not pay anything? Sweetheart, don't make me conclude that you've suddenly developed a stone heart to your own blood brother. Don't. Oh well, you do not do such thing. Okay. If you don't want to do that, I'm not going to sit back here and watch Stephen die. I will donate mine. You will do no such thing. Because I'm not going to sit back here and watch you die and untie the dead. I won't do it. I'm becoming a widow. widow. I will do that. Rachel, you will not do it. Sweetheart, whether you like it or not, I am going straight for a test. And if my kidney matches his, I will do that. You will not do it. Watch me! I said, Rachel, Rachel, look, Rachel, I told you that you will not do it. I told you, I'm very serious about it. Alright? I am prepared to spend everything to make sure he gets a kidney. But certainly not yours. He said everybody there, they are still ill and healthy. Nothing's wrong with them. Oh, it has not happened. Of course it has not happened now. If it happened, I would have known. It means the man is lying to me. Nothing has happened, they are healthy and healthy. I, I, I call them... You, uh, uh, but he didn't say they were for sick, you. 
You see, you will give them accident. The accident has not happened now for four days. You know how many times my red cock has croaked now for, 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 for four days? He said a cock crow. Four days ago, my red cock is just crowing and crowing. Since then, nothing happened. I was counting minutes. What do you want now? I want my heel goat back. I want it back. But who has ever demanded back what he has given to the gods? It's never done. That is because such person has not given to the gods that fail. If you give to the gods to perform for you and they did not perform, they give you back what you give them now. I, I'm asking for refund. My hand is not on me, so. I can't hide it up here. It up No, no. For Take me to this video. Take me to him. I want I want my ego back. Ah, who has ever demanded from God? Which God? If you, if you give God something and it is not performed, you ask for refund now. You take me to him, oh. Kind of frost I love you. Honey, I want to be by his side when he wakes up. By whose side? Stephen, of course. Oh. Rachel, I must be very frank with you. I am very impressed about the way you're going about my brother's ailment. Thank you very much, huh? Honey, remember what you asked me to be. His mother. I remember. He must survive. Yeah. Yes. Stephen must survive. Considering the insinuation that may come out of your brother, DK, if anything go wrong, that is what is propelling me. I'm so glad you now understand. But honey, don't you think that keeping away Steve's present condition from your brother DK might complicate matters if anything go wrong? Nothing will go wrong. Amen. But you never can say. I know. And secondly, I do not intend to allow Dick and my brother see Stephen until he fully regains consciousness. I hope you know what you are doing. Absolutely. Please. Can we just say a short prayer? I want to sleep, please. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, we want to thank you for a moment like this. Thank you for everything you have been doing. Thank you for the ones you will do. What's the meaning of this rubbish? Um, um, uh, uh, Will you shut up? What's the meaning of this rubbish? You spent 180,000 on Marcelinos? Let me ask you, what is the total of your sales for the month? This month in question. But Oga, okay, uh... Will you shut up? Just a trip. A little trip. And I left the shop for you and the other boys. And you turned my shop into a bazaar. Leaving me a bill of 180,000 naira. Now you listen to me. Take this book. I want you to break down every kobo as you spent every kobo. I want the breakdown right away. I take it, I get away. Pick it up, I get out. It, get out! Idiots.
Jawa Tongkas. Udah. Eh, Dewi. Udah. 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 Eh, Philip. Uh. Oga, say me will give him proper account how he spent that hundred eighty thousand. I am scared the car will go. Hey, what's that on me now? Eh? What's that on me? Nah, are you deaf? Nah, what's wrong now? Now look at me, David. Now because of small thing, Oga has you now. You just sweat like Christmas goat. You answer David, but you don't even get any wisdom for your head at all. Yeah. Now you shake like this. Okay, so give him the complete explanation to how he spend the money. That one I call him again. Give him a breakdown. Don't worry, don't worry. Nah, eh, please. I am sure what I want is give me the idea. What will I write? What will I tell Oga? How will what will I tell Oga? So, okay, what now? We call the money. Hmm? Don't not flip the coin, yah. Okay, okay wait. You know your name, David, but you know get single wisdom for that head where they see. Make I borrow you one. Uh, tell Oga say. We use the money for MNW. Eh? Waka. Make you write, make you write for books so we take and do MNW. Man, no be wood. Okay, okay. Man, 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 man. Okay, no, wait. You don't miss out, though. Oga, feel they come inside this place. And if a guy hear my voice, I go dance in a you, and you go go village. Makes sense. I go see there. Okay, okay, see. Tell Oga, say, we use the money. Change oil. Oil oh, changes. I go to Oga, you do go, man. Perfect. Oga, I'm going to go. I'm water. David. I'm water. Oil change. Oil change. And when they tell him the oil change, boy your face well low. No go smile, they tell him to say, Oga, we isn't change oil. You know, no thing. Oil, my pano. You know, feel no oil change. They carry big name. That's why you say like that. Who is your name? Where? 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 No worry yourself. Oh, it's now no problem. Oh, it change. Oh, it change. Oh, change. Oh, change. Will you remove your hand from my table? What do you mean by oh, it change? Huh? David. Sir, is the... What is the meaning of oh, it change? Oh, it change. Oh, it change. Oil change. Can you give me oil change? Which oil are you changing? Is there expenses, sir? Did you get expenses? Yes, or you spent my money changing oil? The things we the things we use the money to do, sir. Which oil? Is it generator oil? That costs just how much? You spent oil change. Oil change. Oil change. Oil change. Can you give me oil change? Can you explain this to me? I cannot understand what you what what you mean by oil change and which oil you're changing. So maybe I I we. Don't tell me what you mean by I don't understand what you mean by oil change. Which oil are you changing? Sir, how do I need to explain it again, sir? It's oil oil change. That's the. That's the uh. Are you mad? Is it the general oil you're changing or what? You change the joint oil every day? Which oil you change are you talking about here? Hey God. Ah, hello, hello, Dennis. It is me, your brother. My brother. Is that Dico? Uh, yes, of course. Who else? Uh, uh, Dico, I hope it is well that is what you're calling. Is it a crime to call you? Uh, no, no, uh, no, no, no. It's not a crime. Uh, to how are you? Well, Dennis, I did not call you to, for you to ask me questions. Okay? 
I call to ask how these people are. How we are? You want to know how we are? This is strange. Oh. Dennis, how are you? How is your wife? How is Steven? Well, we're all fine. We're all, everybody's fine. Good. Are you sure? We're, we're fine. Uh, except that... Um, Just that what? Steven. Steven was involved in an accident. Accident? Yes. Um, Is he dead? But he's fine now. He's fine now. Uh, Dickie, please. Uh, I, I was in the middle of something be before you called. Do you mind? I'll call you back later. Okay. okay. Accident. Why is he not yeah. dead? Yeah. He's dead, I know he's dead. I'm asking, where are you coming from? Where do you think I'm coming from? That is not the answer to my question. Anyway, if you need a straight answer, I am coming from the hospital. By this time of the night? 12 midnight? Your brother Stephen needed some company and I had to. You had to do what? In fact, he didn't even want me to go. And what's the meaning of that? Dennis. You asked me to take care of your brother, and I am doing just that. At my detriment? Without you caring if I eat or not? My God. Dennis, you asked me to take care of Stephen as a son we didn't have, and that's what I'm doing. And then starve me? Somebody, that's the ghost. Uh, don't look at me. I didn't tell him anything. DK! Did you know? The ghosts are hungry. Uh, not as angry as I am right now. <laughs> Did I hear you right? Yes, of course. I'm very angry. You told me that my brother would die. That was two weeks ago. He's still alive today. Uh. Didn't he get the accident? But it's the wrong one. It is the wrong one. That, it's not the one that I want to die first. Who are you to choose for the cause? They are order of preference. Because this. The, the wrong one that you even chose is not dead. He, died, he had an accident and he's still alive. And you will even leave the hospital very soon. Ah. Because their hands are clean. You lied to me. You lied to me. They were after you, but they are not. You are after innocent people. If you don't retrace your step, you shall have a catastrophic end. <clears throat> ah. Ah. What, what business of yours it is if, if their hands are clean? Your shrine demanded for gold. I brought gold. Your shrine is not performing. Ah. I want my gold back. Oh. Where did you get this greedy man? He came. Ah, what? What? The, what? Ah, what? Oh. You think all Dibia sent their ghosts after innocent one? No. No, no, no. Your shrine said you will perform. You don't perform. I, I want my goat back. Uh, it cost me more. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You wait. Wait. <laughs> wait for your goat. Wait. I'll yeah. wait. You can hear laughter come on. You can hear laughter come on. Make a hear word. Make a hear word. Let me hear word. Let me hear word. Don't you know how much that goat cost me? Did the master bring goat? I brought goat. He 
you say somebody will die, you don't die. If someone had an accident, that one is still alive. No, no, no. I want my goat back. I'm not this fool. I'm not stupid at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, have your goods. No, here is your goods. Come and have it. Have your goods. Hey, hey, yo. Oh, you think it's Odibia that spilled innocent blood? No, I go after evil ones and not the good ones. <laughs> Come and have your goods. Have it. Steven, Mom, where did you learn all these things? Well, I just learned. Oh, really? <laughs> I can't wait to eat the food. Mom, you just relax yourself. Let me get through, okay? Then you get to realize I'm a very good cook. All right, I'm waiting. Your food is getting better and better every day. What's the secret? It's Steve's magic. <sighs> Steve's magic? What do you mean by Steve's magic? You didn't know he was an excellent cook. Wait a minute. You don't mean to tell me Steve did this cooking? Practically. Brother, please, don't listen to what mom just said. Well, I, I only helped out in the cooking, that's all. Oh, you did? Well, <clears throat> it's okay. But let me tell you something, uh, Stephen. When a man begins to do a woman's job, that means idleness has set in. I just want you to know this and have it at the back of your mind. Well, that's by the way. Tell me, when are you going back to school? But I don't want to go back to school. You don't? Yes, Mom. Why? There is something I have not told both of you. And what could that be? Remember the accident I told you about? What are you talking about? Brother, it's true. It's DK. He wanted me dead. Stephen, what if you just said how possible it is? Very possible. There's nothing that is beyond DK. But are you, have you forgotten? I have always told you that DK is a devil's incarnate. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Please, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't spoil you. No. I must say I'm very happy that you accepted my proposal to join us here in this company. Well, brother, it, it, has, it has all passed now. Good. Now, I want you to be completely in charge of everything we do here. Take your time. Get on the study how we do our business here. Over there are brochures of companies we deal with abroad in our importation business. There are files here and there, all in those drawers there, and then in the office. As a matter of fact, David will uh, get you acquainted with what we do here. Okay? But Dennis, what about David? Stephen. David is an apprentice, learning the trade under me. 
You are my brother. My blood brother. As long as my money, our money, is safe with you, I have no problem. Okay, brother Dennis. Trust me. I will do everything I can. You can count on me. I would not disappoint you. Very well then. <laughs> so this will give me time to spend with my wife and do other things I am supposed to do. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Brother Dennis, there is something I would like to bring to your knowledge. What could that, what could that be? It's about the uh, apprentices that is working for us here in this company. Yes, what about them? You see, they, will, they withdraw some huge sum of money every week. And what do they do with the money? And according to them, they said that they use it for what they call oil change. Oil change? What's the meaning of that? I don't know. I just don't know. Oil change. Where are they? Um, David! Come, come at it, come here, come here, come here, I said come here, come here, come here, Sir. where's, where's, where's Philip, stand there, stand, stand there, okay. Steve, repeat what you just told me, I said, these three young men here, they withdraw some huge sum of money every week, yes. and when I found, I asked them, they said that they used the money for what they called or change. You heard him. You heard him. You you do the money, you use the money for what? Wait a minute. What did you call that thing again? Oil change. This same phrase, oil change, cropped up some time ago when I traveled to bury Papa and I came back and you presented me with some expenses uh, lists and what I saw in there was oil change, oil change, oil change. Tell, tell me, what do you mean by oil change? Okay. It's Philip. What's the meaning of oil change? Okay. okay, don't listen to him. Why are you calling my name? What is the name of oil change? Okay. When we close market at the weekend, sir. Yes. Uh -huh. David! Will you shut up? Okay. Continue that listening, yes. We stop briefly at at that that hotel. Oh, but go on. What happened to the hotel? Yes, sir, we, we, we branch. David, are you are you, are you mad, sir? Yes, sir? Will you shut up? You stop. You stop. No, no, no. With us. I'm listening. Go ahead. How many of you? Three of you. Yes, sir, two of us, sir. Yes, sir. We stop there and uh, uh... sir. Uh, don't don't mind him. Start changing oil, sir. What do you mean by change oil? Sir, it's Philip that brought the idea of a, of a changing oil. Ask him, ask him. Sir. Now, what is what do you mean by oil change oil? Are you dumb? Sir, I'll talk. <laughs> oil change. Well, you know, uh, every weekend after we close from work. Yes. Uh, what happens? We we stop at. Where he mentioned. Yes, to do what? And we go there to see those people there. What happens there? Those uh, guests. Yes, sir. There, what? But we just, we don't do anything now. We just. So what do you do here with the girls? Okay. I'll get my chapel. Emma. What is it? Okay, I'll get my chapel. We just, we just go and stay with them and do like this, okay? Oh, but so, it, it, it's David that normally carries the, 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 the big. Will you show us? Shut up! Okay, me, I used to escort them. So that is what you, you people go to do? 
prostitutes. Stephen, mm -hmm. do you know what these idiots go to do where they go to? Spending my money on? Prostitutes! What? Yeah. Prostitutes? They're not no, prostitutes. They're not prostitutes. No. Somebody's not. Okay, I, I can explain. I, I can explain everything. Ha. Let me just explain everything to you. Sir. I, sir, me, I don't know. I don't, okay, I don't he's the one that brought the money. He's the one that brought the. Is he not the one that keeps? Will you shut up? You know that brought the money now. But okay, I only suggest that you brought money. Mm. And me, I've never followed them. You went. I've not. And you call it oil change, David. Oh God, the oil change. You know, man, no be fire now. So. David, can you go? So this is what you people do with my money. 180,000 Naira and the impress account Stephen is talking about used my money on prostitutes so this is what you people do sir, me, I don't I don't follow them sir so sir. you shut up so it's, 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 it's David that brings the money and I only suggested and he brought the money and he wanted to carry the big gear I see okay let me explain the three of you you're leaving this office. Sir, sir, I only have to Okay, I can explain to you, sir. Now. Sir, okay. Okay. sir, okay. Biko. Okay. Sir, Biko. Okay. Sir, Biko. Okay. Sir, Biko. Okay. Sir, Biko. Okay. 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 Imagine. So this is what these boys have been spending the money to use. Carry prostitutes. When I went to work, went to, uh, I went for Papa's burial. Yes. I came back and they bought a bill of one hundred eighty thousand naira. And when I asked what they what they used this for, they bought a breakdown. All I saw in, 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 in the breakdown was oil you change, oil you change, oil you change, oil you change. And I was wondering what is what what they meant by oil you change. So this oil you change is prostitutes. I know what to do now. But I think I have to do that. Sweetheart, young men of these days do a lot of things. To err is human, but to forgive is divine. I want you to forgive these boys. You know we are looking for children, and forgiveness should be our watchword. Please. Yes, I know we're looking for children, but it does not mean I have to tolerate my boys. Boys working for me, apprentices working for me, learning, serving under me, patronizing prostitutes. I will not tolerate it. Rachel, I'm sorry, I will not. Sweetheart, sweetheart, you don't have to send it back in just like I said, leave me alone, I will not. Yeah. I don't want you to do this. I don't want you to send these boys back in just like that. I don't want it. You don't want to do that, please. I'm, I'm, I'm begging you. Please. I'm begging you, my love. Stevie. No. You're back. How are you? Mom, how are you? Fine, you're welcome. What is it? Mom, I'm hungry. You know what to do. Mom, what exactly are you saying? Just go to the kitchen and take your food. And we have food there?
Mm. How does it taste? Very nice. Do you like it? Wonderful. Nice. Oh, your own is small. Oh, let me give you. Um, Mm, thank you so much now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm. Mom, I would like to know. Are you the one who actually prepared this food? Oh sure. Wow. You don't like it? No, I love it. I don't just like it. <laughs> <laughs> So delicious. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you like it. Mm. Oh. Steve, you fucked up big time. How could you have exposed all of us? Me? No, you fuck up, oh. You fuck up. No, you fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You expose so. you people. Hopefully I For what? Listen, I did not expose any of you, any of you. Rather, you all exposed yourselves. How? What do you mean, how do you mean? Eh? What do you mean? What kind of stupid question is that? Where did you get that stupid slang from? Let's change oil. Change of oil. You're asking me, how do I mean? Nana, nah, this mugu. Don't the fire you. Where you call mugu me? Fire the pan No, 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 Every one of us have come up the age of toasting a lady. It's good, it's clear. But if we want to toast a lady, let us go for decent girls, responsible girls. For God's sake, not prostitutes. What are we going to do with prostitutes? Okay, now. Now listen, Philip. Are you not the one that suggested that? Yeah? You are not putting all the blame on me. Okay. Huh? If Philip suggested it, you stupidly followed him. I suggested it, and you followed me. Even when we get to that place, when we get to the hotel, you were the one. I wasn't even advising you to take the smaller woman, but you took the big nash. I mean, yabo. Now, you, now, come out fire, you idiot. See you. When we got there, I wanted to carry the small one. He asked me to carry the ikebe super, the big nash. Were you not the one? I not the one. I don't blame you. Since you started removing oil from your body, you're looking at you one be. You call me a fool. Turn the fire you there. Yeah, the one is a fool. Get away. Get away. You see, you see, you see the, thing is, is, the thing is, the thing is, you guys don't know the implication of this. Whenever a man follows a man, a shower, a prostitute, this man turns to lose his focus. Ooh. You don't focus anymore. Wait, you see. What focus? Do you have any focus? What focus are you talking about? See, let me tell you. So you want all of us, as grown up as we are, to fold our hands and stay without changing oil. You can convince these two fools. So you want me to convince me, Abi? So you go to hide, you go to go to go go to change oil, Abi. You know where? That's not what I'm saying. Sleepy. What are you saying then? Good. Good. What I'm trying to say is that for the fact that we all have come up with it, hmm? we, if we want to toast girls, ladies, women, eh? let us go for the responsible ones, decent ones, good, good girls that from home. My guys from girls are not prostitutes. Those people will make you lose your mind. What? Mr. Holly, Sean. Oh God, brother! I have heard you. Now, tell me, how can we get those decent ladies? That's the question. You see, David, they are very stupid. Now, they are very stupid. The first thing I'm not going to hold. I'm not holding. I'm trying to put common sense into your head. They are calling me Mr. Holy. Listen, all you need to do is to stop going to that joint, stop going to those prostitute houses, and they will sit back, watch you. Watch me through my head. You will see. Steve-O! Sean! Steve-O! I have heard you. See, from today, 
Take the shot. Help me out. I will not be here anymore. See, eh? See, it's good. Honestly, if you can promise us that this same girls you give out to us, I will never go there again. Now we are talking. Now, my guy. Eh? Uh, what about you? Talk now. So you feel you can leave service this room. Me, Philip, I will not listen to you until you bring a replacement for Angela. I will not leave her. Let me remind you, or let me tell you. I will visit Angela in the morning. From her house, I will go to Angela's house. The hotel, I will from there come to work. I will leave work and go and see her in the hotel room again and come back to the office. From the office, I will sleep in her house. Then I will not come to the work the next day. I will not leave that girl until you bring a better replacement. Finish, shut up. This is gonna bring us bad luck. Finish, shut up. I told you. Do, do you know that you are disgraced to man? Are. Which man? Are you a man? If in fact you are, you are disgraced to this gathering, hey, shut up! Don't Eventually, if you die tomorrow now, you carry all those prostitutes, carry them for your bearer. Bam! If I die, see, let me remind you, if I die, if you're bringing those girls to my grave, don't miss Angela. Bring the Angela, the one that has a very big breath, put her into my grave, I'll be happy. <laughs> maybe, maybe Oga will marry my wife before he settled. Oga does not need to marry wife for me. So you refuse to marry her. Oh my God! Since when you begin change oil, when you begin change oil, you never begin fine. When you come from the village, you be like, you be like, you move. Set up. What guy say you know? Honey, you remember you said Steve was going to stay only six months. Yes, I said so. Any problem with that? Are you aware he has stayed eight months? How does that affect you? Did he complain to you? He's not complaining, but I'm not comfortable the way he has been ignored. Oh, God. Rachel, when did Steve make you his spokesman? When you asked me to be his mom, what did you have in mind? Oh, to turn around and antagonize me? Because I asked you to be his mom? Honey, whenever I'm asked to do a job, I do it very well. Oh, really? Oh, well. I asked you to be his mother, isn't it? Then I'm asking you to stop being his mother. What? Leave me alone. I should leave you alone? You heard me loud and leave me alone. I settled him. Is he not my brother? Afterwards, since he came in here, my business has taken a turn for the better. Obviously, someday I'm going to settle him. But if I'm going to settle him in a rush, just like you want me to, even you will miss him. You will. What are you saying? I don't understand. Well, if you must know, I'm thinking of extending his service to me by two years, after which he becomes a partner in the company. No, no, no. I don't like the sound of it at all. No. Honey, you are beginning to sound like some of these masters who don't like settling their boys after serving them. Do you know the, do you know the value of Denko Brothers Limited? Yes, I do. No, you don't. No, I do. Because if you do, you will know that partnership is this big deal. If I give Steve partnership in Denko Brothers Limited, it's big deal. I don't care. I don't care one bit. All I want you to do is set him up let him be a man of his own. That's all. Ah, what is it? Company is my company. The Steve is my brother. How does it affect you? You not take want to take decisions for me? Just set him up. Hey. Hey. 
Nenyo zikuwa kiyo Almost one year now since that lunatic took us for a ride. Who? That uh, is, is a DB, of course. Huh. You have started again. Now, why will I not start again? Eh? When there is a snake, a very personal snake on the touch roof, how can you sleep soundly on that such roof? Ah, so ah. that's your proof. I'll go straight to the point. Listen. I was told that my brother, Dennis, has gone richer. Ah, richer. Oh! <laughs> Did you rejoice, right? Oh! Rejoice, Gunny. How can I rejoice? Is he not the one that is paying your children's school fees? Who told you that? How did you know that? I think I don't know. Was it that your uh, retirement benefits? How much was it? Or oh, that uh, hunting, uh, that, that they fetch you the money for your, your children's school fees? How many grass cutters do you cut in a month? Ah. Well, all I know is that I cannot sit down here and watch them take what rightfully belongs to me. Hmm? I cannot be watching like that. But your brother Dennis has no child. You have killed them all. Yes, but he might decide to, to adopt now. Adopt? Yes. Ah, you don't take that risk. You know our elders, they, they, they can change their voices whenever they say about Shmap. So you know what to do now. Shmap. Well, 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 all I know is, I cannot sit down here and watch Dennis and the children take over my property. That thing is rightfully belongs to me. I am the first son of Rezo I am here for you. Hold on. Ah. All right. It's a small case. I, I didn't I did, I did show you the, uh, this stuff. No, no, this no, one is a special one. No, no, I'll pass on that one. I'll pass on that. You keep putting that black thing in your brain. That, that's why they were able to deceive you easily. That thing will black in your brain, don't you know that? Uh, you are talking as if you don't know about this. This is a... You, that is, this one comes from England. Muntada! I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. America. I can't put that black thing in my head. I can think straight. Nobody will take me for a ride. I decided to make you happy. How do you mean? I'm going to settle Stephen. Oh, you have? Oh my God, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, my husband. I'm so happy. Now you are talking. So sorry about the way I've talked to you over this issue in the past. I'm so sorry about it, okay? Hmm? Okay, tell me, how do you intend doing that? I'm sending him to Abuja. Abuja? I've secured a shop there for him. You've secured a shop over there in Abuja? Yes, you see, the both of us cannot be here. I want him to be in Abuja while I remain here. So I can coordinate the two cities. Him there and me here. 
Okay, so tell me, what about the money aspect of it? How do you intend doing it? I'm going to start him up with goods worth five million naira. Honey, why not give him the cash so that he will go and do that on his own? And why five million naira? Rachel. Yes. Is there more to this than what I know? More to what? You know what I'm talking about. I'm ashamed of you, Dennis. What is your problem? After all the assistance your brother gave to you, you want to give him just five million naira? Too bad. Who are you keeping all this money for? Eh? When you are Who are you keeping the money for? Since you won't have your own flesh and blood. Your own blood, Dennis! What is five million naira? What is five million naira? Thank you so much. You're welcome. I want you to open an account with that money when you get to Abuja. Study the terrain very well before you choose the line of trade to go into and then invest the money. 10 million Nara. <laughs> this is like a dream. When you're good, good things will always come. Thank you. Thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> brother, I promise to both of you that I will do everything within my power and remain grateful to the both of you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Well, but uh, first and foremost, if you really want to make us happy, I want you to make judicious use of that money. Yeah. Oh, brother, trust me. I will make more than judicious use out of this money. I promise you. Oh. I'm glad. Mom, I know that you're going to have your own son very soon. Very soon. But I want to make a promise to you. I want to promise you that I will forever remain your real son. <laughs> Stay with me. Thank you. Stay with me. Thank you. Yes, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Brother, thank you so much. Thank you. It's okay. Excuse, thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse thank me. you, honey. Thank you, thank you very much. It's okay. It's okay. I just pray that you're able to make good use of the money. He will. He will. He's a good boy. And always remember where he's coming from. He will. Mm -hmm. I promise. 